Right, so hey everyone and welcome back to another budget photography video. So there is some work going on over there somewhere and someone's using some sort of angle grinder. So if you guys can hear that, I don't know if you can, I hope you can't, but if you can then I'm really sorry. Also, what do you think of the lighting setup in here? It's, um, I got some new light bulbs for the, the main light and they're, um, they're home kit enabled because, you know, Apple. And I can just kind of have different um, colours whenever I want. I can change them to lots of different colours really, although I do like the blue for this setup right here. I do think it looks quite good, a kind of a bluey white background. Anyway, I don't know how long this will stay like this, so enjoy it if you do. If you don't like it, well, wait to the next one. Anyway, moving on to the main purpose of this video is, well, you can you can see from the from 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 the title yeah i left adobe fully i cancelled the subscription and i brought new software i'm now using lumia luma lumia i don't know ai it is amazing i've done a video on it previously where i said i might move but there were a few things that i'll get into in a second that were stopping me and they're now not stopping me so what are the problems with adobe god there are a there are a lot of problems with adobe first off you know it is really annoying that that um angle grind is really fucking annoying me i wonder if it adds any more light if i nah this there are a curtain anyway well first of all there's the cost i was paying about 25 to 30 pounds a month which isn't a lot but after a little while, it does kind of add up. And it's 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 a lot of money. It really is. After so long, you know, 20 quid is, yeah, fair enough. It's pretty cheap or on a month by month basis. But that is not what I wanted. I didn't want to have to keep paying for a subscription. Then there are the Adobe Creative Cloud apps, whatever they're called. And it is a group of apps that you have to have to be able to use the main apps. So if I want to use Photoshop, I have to have the Creative Cloud apps there on my laptop. Why? Now, I'm sure there is a fairly good reason for it, but I don't know and I don't really want to know. I don't care. To me, it is just bloatware, bloatware, bloatware that I don't want and I don't need. And then there's the RAM. Now, I have a low-end machine because that's what I wanted. I wanted a low-end machine. I didn't want anything too expensive and I didn't want anything with a lot of RAM, which sounds weird, but just go with it. I've got the 8 gigabytes of RAM and Adobe products run through an app called Rosetta. I will give it to Adobe. They do run really, really well, but... If I'm just color grading an image, I'm using five or six gigabytes of RAM. Five or six gigs. In some cases, I'm using more gigs than I actually have. And that's called, I think it's called something like RAM swapping or something where it uses the SSD as RAM. And I don't want that. I don't want it to do that. Now, it is perfectly fine for a SSD to do that. It can do that a fair few times. That's fine. But it can degrade your SSD in the long term. Not now, in about 10 years or so, if you keep doing it. So every now and then, you're okay. You're not really going to face any problems. Now, as I said, it does run well through Rosetta. It does. It really really does run well everything works smoothly it it just works the whole apple you know just works like magic kind of thing Every, everything's fine it's there's no laggy issues or anything like that it works fine but it uses an awful lot of ram now you're probably going oh well, editing pictures does use a lot of ram blah, 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 blah. yeah it does it it really does i i understand that but not that amount of RAM that Lightroom is using. I can edit 4K footage on that very same machine and only use three gigs of RAM. And when I say edit, I don't just mean, 
you know, cutting up in iMovie. No, no, no. I mean, full color grading and yeah, cutting up and exporting in 4K. And I'm only using three, maybe four gigs of RAM. What? I'm sorry. Why? Why is why why, why is photo editing using more resources than video editing? Why? Come on, why? Why Adobe? Come on, really? I wanted more out of my editing software. Now, yes, both Photoshop and Lightroom do do <laughs> what I need them to do. They do. They help me make thumbnails, they help me edit my work, blah, blah, blah. Now, one of the reasons as to why I kept Adobe and their subscription is because I had an iPad Pro and I liked their mobile app. It was very intuitive. It was. It was really good on my iPad. But I don't use my iPad anymore. As a matter of fact, I gave it to my partner now. It's now fully on, you know, in her name. It's not in my name anymore. The Apple ID has been signed out. The, the app isn't there. So I'm not editing pictures on my iPad anymore. I'm now editing on my MacBook, which, yeah, okay, it's not as nice of a feeling, but it I can get better things done on here. Because the chip is more powerful, it can handle more. So I want more out of my editing software. And that's what I now have. I now have more, which is what I needed. For me, Lightroom was incredibly basic. Now, yes, there is a downside. I have lost my presets. That's it. That, to me, is the only downside. I've lost my presets. But I'm sure I could probably find a way to maybe bring them over to my new software. We'll have to have a look. Maybe I'll do a video on it. I don't know. Why am I talking like this? I don't know. Anyway, let's get back. I just wanted more out of my editing software than what Adobe currently offers. And I wanted it in one place. I didn't want to have to send it from one app to another and then send it back to the first app and then put it into this app and then maybe do that. And I just want, I just want it to do what I want it to do. That's it. That's it. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining me in this video. I'll see you in the next one. Also, my hair, I haven't brushed my hair properly today and I kind of, <laughs> so I meant to, I meant to stop recording, but I kind of fit there, look. <laughs> oh, look, I can, I can go into the corner. Can I go into, no, no, let's go to this one. Let's go to this one. And let's just, can I do it? Yep. <laughs> God, I have no life. Just kind of like a mohawk. Just... I'm I need to get a haircut. Anyway, I need to go. <laughs> Thanks for joining me in this video. I'll, I'll see you in the next one. I'll, I'll just... Just...